y'all, Taylor by Debbie here. Today I'm gonna show you how you can take some of these Dollar Tree foam cones and turn them into some beautiful winter tree decor for your home or to give as gifts. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're gonna do is take off the plastic wrap of, off your cone. And for the first DIY tree, we're gonna take some of this thicker nautical rope that you can buy at the Dollar Tree and I've just cut off a length of it. And I'm just gonna separate, it has three different ropes. I'm just gonna pull it apart to separate. Okay, then once you have it separated into different strands, you're gonna take just one of these strands. You're also going to mix it with the jute uh, rope that you can also buy at the Dollar Tree. Off our zip tie here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our cone, we're going to use our heat tool, and we're just going to alternate gluing on. And I'm going to start at the bottom and first just cover the bottom of my tree. And what I want to do is take and kind of poke a hole through the very bottom to stick the end of that rope down into. So I'm just going to take this dowel rod and carve out just a small circle in the middle. And I'm going to take some scissors and we're going to cut the tip of this rope off to have a nice clean starting point. And we're going to twist it together tightly. I'm going to put a dab of hot glue right there where we just carved out that little center spot. Stick that down in there. And then we're just going to start applying some glue and wrapping this around to start it out here in the center and then we're going to cut off a piece of our jute rope and we are going to come right here and stick that in as well and this is going to be on the bottom it's not going to show it's just going to give us a good starting point you'll see how we're going to cover up the bottom of our tree once we get this part done. But essentially what we're wanting to do is have these ropes so that we can twist them side by side, first starting out here on the bottom. So you're just gonna put some glue down and wrap, tacking it down and make sure you have it nice and flat. I'm going to apply some glue here over the rest of the bottom of the cone. And we're going to continue to wrap that around. Just like so. Kind of get the idea here. All right, then when we get to the edge, we're going to start applying the glue on the side of the cone. You want to work in small sections because the glue will dry quickly. You just want to make sure it's, you know, not got gaps anywhere. And then just continue to work your way around the cone in this manner.
once you reach the top, we're going to wrap in a spiral fashion like we've been doing. So you wanna make sure you keep your rope going in the same pattern. And you wanna glue all of this down as you go. So we're gonna glue this piece first right here to catch up with this one here. All right, then we're gonna cross that over. And we wanna continue to glue right here and press that down. I need another glue stick. Press that down. And then we're gonna go ahead and kind of figure out how much more we need to finish up. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. And then glue that piece down. You wanna keep wrapping it. Glue it down as you go. finger protector on here as we're getting to the top because I'm being a little bit more liberal with my glue here at the top. And then you just want to twist your rope and end it by putting some glue over all these loose edges right here from your jute twine rope. And you want to just kind of push that down into the center. And then you want to take this rope and just kind of spiral it around on itself. Twist it really tight. And then just figure out the best way for you to secure it here at the top. I'm going to try to tuck it right down here into this gap that I have. And then I'm just going to Put some glue up underneath and start mashing it down to secure it. And the finger protectors really do keep your finger from getting burned on this last part. I'm just gonna mash it down in there. To finish off the top, if you got any loose strings, you can just trim them off. But y'all, that's it. And look how beautiful that this turned out. Now, I'm going to take these little wood rounds. These are wood ornaments that you can get at the Dollar Tree. You can also order wood rounds online. Amazon has them. What I'd like to do next, instead of using this as an ornament, I wanna secure one to the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll just put some hot glue around the base in a swirly pattern like that. And then I'm just going to turn this upside down and try to center this the best I can on the bottom. And then turn it over and press it down. And there you have tree number one that you can use to decorate your home for the winter season. Okay, on to tree number two. This time, I'm gonna use some nautical rope, but I want to use this navy and um, natural jute. This is a six foot strand. You can use whatever kind of jute that you are able to find or have in your craft supplies. Okay, and then I'm going to mix it with this thicker eight foot nautical plain natural jute rope from also from the Dollar Tree. This time I think I'm gonna start on the top and see how this option um, looks to start off our tree. We're just gonna make a, a hole kind of big enough to insert the end of our smaller jute rope, which is this one. And it does have some tape. I'm gonna cut it 
to where just a little bit of that tape is still on there. And that part will get stuck down into the hole. So let's just go ahead and melt the styrofoam a little bit, make that hole up here on the top a little larger. Squirt some glue in there. And I'm gonna take both of my jute ropes. Let's get this one good and twisted. I'm gonna take both of them and stick them down in here. Stick the ends down in there. And we're gonna give that just a moment to dry. All right, now that we have that part figured out, I do think I like the way this is looking on the top. I'm gonna go ahead and take and decide which one I want to be glued around here first. I'm gonna start gluing it. Hold it a few seconds until that part dries. And then we're gonna come in with the next rope and start gluing it just like we did our other one. We're gonna wrap all the way around the tree until it's covered in these two jute ropes. this up right there to the center you can take uh, your wood dowel and kind of press that down into the glue to get it good and set just like that if it's lifting up a little bit just kind of pull it to the side Put a little bit more glue, press it down, get it good and snug and secure so it won't come unraveled. Just kind of want to feel where any of it might be a little bit loose and add a little more glue to secure it down. And y'all, that's it to wrapping this beautiful jute, natural and navy blue tree. Isn't that beautiful, y'all? Okay. Now for the bottom on this one, so I'm just going to put a swirl of hot glue. Pretty liberal amount, y'all, and tr try not to get too close to the edge. And we're going to turn it upside down and try to center it on our tree and then mash it down. And that's all there is to it. And by not getting it too close to the edge, we don't have any glue seeping out. So now we have two, tree one and tree two. You can come in here and pull off any of the junk, you know, that sometimes is on the jute rope. Just kind of pull that off gently. But y'all, these are two really pretty trees. Okay, moving on to tree uh, number three, okay? Take this out of its packaging. And for this tree, we're gonna use these little pom-poms that you can buy at the Dollar Tree. Now, I bought these um, around Easter. It has the little bunny on it, but they do also sell these little pom-poms at Christmas time. So just get whatever size you can find. There's 24 in a pack here, so we're gonna see how many of these it takes. I'm not sure. We'll open up one pack to begin with. 
And I'm going to start by gluing one on the top. Just gluing it on. And then we're going to go around one at a time and glue on some pom-poms. Starting from the top, going to the bottom, overlapping just a little bit on each pom-pom so we won't have any of the styrofoam showing. It did take two packs of the snowballs and down here at the bottom where we've got these little gaps right here what I'm gonna do is take some of the Dollar Tree lace this I bought at Dollar Tree I'm gonna take some of this it's a Dollar Tree uh, lace I'm gonna cut off this zip tie here And I'm just going to take this, I'm going to push the snowballs down, and I'm going to glue the lace right around the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of glue to start. Take this lace, we're going to cut off a nice clean edge. I'm going to put on my hot glue finger protector. We're going to tap that down right there. And then we're just gonna kind of gently, let's pull this out of here. Gently pull up the pom-poms and tack this lace ribbon down with just some a light bead of hot glue. And that just covers the bottom edge, so it's not just the styrofoam cone there at the bottom. See how that is? Then you can come back around, stick a little bit of glue up under the edge of each pom-pom and tack it down to the lace. And that will help really hold the bottom part of your pom-poms on the tree really good and secure. Okay, so now that's done. And we just need to put a bottom on. I'm going to use one of these wood rounds. These just look so high-end as a base. I don't know that anyone would even know that you um, got these from the Dollar Tree. So we're just going to, again, glue it onto the wood round. And don't get it all the way over to the edge. And then we're going to find the side here where it's kind of centered. And there's a little bit of the styrofoam showing there on the bottom. If you want to cover that up, you could take some more of this lace and just glue it down with a little bit of overhang um, here. What I'll do is I'll put a bead of hot glue on the styrofoam And then I'm going to take the edge of the lace and tap it into the hot glue. Trim that off. Make sure we get it good and straight. All right, let's tack down this little end part here.
push it all the way down so it's not covering up the wood. And then again, we're just going to lift up the pom-poms a little bit. And this lace can overlap that other lace a little bit and it really blends in nicely. So just put a little bit of hot glue. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and bend this down all the way around like this. Just kind of bring that lace edge down. And then I'm going to put a very, very thin bead of glue right along the edge. And then we're gonna fold it up. Lift up those pom-poms and just fold that lace right back up onto that other lace like so, up underneath your pom-poms. Okay, well, we've gone all the way around our tree. So the bottom looks nice and neat, completely finished. So this is tree number three. Now you can add some decorations. Um, you can add other colors of pom-poms. You know, in the spaces here, if you wanted to make it look like it had decorations, some smaller pom-poms. You could also take one of these berry picks and pull off the little berries and glue them in, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take these berries, just tack a little bit of glue on it, and we're going to put these around our tree. Now for the top, I want to take some of these branches and I want to come up here in the center of our snowball and stick some of these picks up inside the pom-pom. So we're just going to Take our finger and go down as far as we can into the center, then kind of squeeze it together and just make some little twigs coming up out of the top of this tree. is tree number three done. So I hope you will give this a try. I've given you three creative ideas of how to make trees that you can use on your mantle, on a shelf, on a tiered tray. I hope you give this a try. If you do, please tag me in a photo. Please subscribe to my channel and click the bell if you would like to see more DIYs like this. Thank y'all so much for watching and have a blessed day.